everyone, welcome back to Stocks and Syllabus. So recently, well this week actually, no last week actually, I added um, an ETF into the thousand dollar project portfolio. And I haven't, it made me realize, I haven't actually explained to you guys what an exchange traded fund is or an ETF. So Julius and I are going to explain what an ETF is and how um, that might be an appropriate investment for you to consider. So in my video I did and where I explained to everyone about what a managed fund was, I used the analogy of a supermarket uh, in that you know a, a managed fund is like turning up the supermarket and as you walk in your shopping trolley has already been filled for you and you can pretty much grab the shopping trolley and take it to the counter and check out and be on your merry way. Whereas with shares, you know, you take an empty shopping trolley and you put in your individual ingredients and food that you you want. And, you know, you walk out at the end of the day with your custom uh, shopping trolley full of the stuff that you want. Both have their benefits, both have their disadvantages. A third option is an exchange traded fund, which is a lot like a managed fund. But how would, like, how would you explain an ETF? Well, talking the same sense as a, as a shopping uh, at experience the, at the supermarket at the grocery store <laughs> you take your basket well you're right a, an exchange traded fund is a pre-packed trolley full of your groceries you could have different types of exchange traded funds where you could have a basket of different types of meat or a basket different trolley with different types of dairy cheeses and milk or a completely different basket full of vegetables or you could have one trolley just full of all those things. Complete mix. Complete mix. It's completely up to you. Okay. And one of the great things which I personally like about an, e uh, an ETF or exchange traded fund versus a managed fund is typically um, they're a lot cheaper. Um, the What we call the management expense ratio or MER is typically a lot lower um, with an ETF um, than with a managed fund. Why is that? That's a very good question. You're finding that because they're listed on the stock market, these exchange traded funds, their ability to harness funds, to, to raise capital, uh, to manage, it's a lot easier because of the liquidity angle. Mm. So for me to go in and buy this exchange traded fund, I can just bring up my stockbroker or me being a stockbroker, just do it and buy that quite, quite instantly. You find that they're, they're quite self-marketable mm. by being on the stock market so the selection the menus there yeah the menus there that's probably a good way of explaining it so if you invest in an ETF you're able to access a diversified portfolio like you would with a managed fund but it's it's cheaper from an ongoing expense perspective and do you think that's got a lot to also do with the economies of scale because some of these yeah. um, ETFs have like billions of dollars mm. in them mm. Mm. you're, find, you're finding that that the management expense ratio which is the uh, the, the fee hidden in the unit price is lower because their ability to have more capital under management so it gives the uh, also gives a, a more of an appetite for the investor such as you and, and myself to go in and, and invest in these these uh, funds where some of them range from 0.2 percent to, to, to even 0.6 percent I think that's quite low mm. you have funds that aren't exchange traded funds some of them charge 1% or even 2% Sometimes per even 2%, yeah. yeah. And then they take bonus fees on top of that. They take a percentage mm. of the profits, exactly. So, look, they do well. Um, ETFs do well in their own way. So it's, it's up to you yeah. to really select which one's good for you. There's no right or wrong type of investment. It's whatever works for you and your risk level, your level of experience in educating, and, and obviously your financial goals, whether they be short term or medium term or long term. Mm. But what is, what is right for you? So you can't be comparing what someone has mm. versus what you've got. Mm. Um, and with ETFs, you still receive passive income. It still gets paid on a, normally on a biannual basis. Exactly right. Some exchange traded funds, in fact, pay quarterly, not half yearly. Like if I were to buy shares directly, you're getting dividends paid every six months. There's even there's even one exchange traded fund that pays monthly as well. So oh, wow. there's a lot of there's a lot of a uh, lot of different types of uh, things in the grocery store that you can choose from. Yeah, and you can mix and match. So you can ha and you can have, you know. You can have managed funds in your portfolio. You can have shit direct equities in your um, in your uh, 
portfolio and you can have ETFs. You can have it all. There's there's no limits. Yeah. This makes it a properly diversified portfolio. Very exciting. Very exciting. Okay, that's it. I hope that helps you understand what ETFs are. I'm actually going to be adding more ETFs to the $1,000 project portfolio. If you haven't checked out the Sugar Mama website, you should do so. Have you seen Sugar Mama website? I certainly have. Really? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've invested over $18,000 and I've taken none of that's come out of my lifestyle. That's money I've manifested, saved, created, um, you know, since starting at the end of July last year. They're pretty cool, huh? Good for you. Yeah, I feel proud of myself. Anyway, that is creating a passive income of over $900 a year. And I'm going to obviously at the moment I'm reinvesting those dividends because I don't need them and I want the portfolio to organically grow. But as I said, I just bought some ETF, an ETF um, fund that you suggested um, the other day, and I'm going to be adding more to the portfolio. So we'll be doing more on exchange traded funds and understanding them on a, on a deeper um, and more intimate level. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any special requests for Julius and myself, please make sure you put them in the comments box below. Ciao. <laughs>